good afternoon friends today we are going to be learning three or four strategies of learning in making spellings easy for children let's learn some few tips strategy number 1 or tip number 1 first of all we have been teaching children from childhood that go means go and stop means stop these are the signal signs So tip number 1 supposing we take an easy word like cat we you can see that i have colored it green so it's k and then we have next to it a and then we have t so we can explain to the child that green means go and t is to stop that is red color so you have green go and t that is red stop so the child understands when to start and when to end that is tip number 1 tip number 2 it is very important to teach the child to count the number of letters so that they do not miss a letter or add a letter for example let's take the simple example of cat again k 1 a is at second position 2 and t is at the third position 3 so we have 1 2 3 it is very important along with showing them k at t to show them a picture of a cat because they have to correlate k at t means a cat so that was tip number 2 or strategy number 2 to improve the spellings tip number 3 It is very important to teach the child how to sequence their letters. Okay, sometimes children get muddled. We need to tell them that if they start with k, a, and t, that is, for example, your cat example again, it becomes cat. Okay, and you can show them your picture of cat. But if we start with the vowel first a c t act okay if we have a c t act that means the name, the word has changed it has now become to act what is act acting is what children do very often you know you must have seen small babies they go crying and then with their one eye they look up and see if you're looking at them they are faking or acting they are crying you may have also seen in bollywood the actors who speak and who do acting for example mogambo khush hua that was your tip number 3 tip number 4 is you can tell a story about a cat or you can make it into something funny for example children love the phone so you can have call you can make a story a tiger and who did call a tiger k for call a a and tiger call a tiger that could be a story like for example there was a cat who was not afraid of tigers and she was or he was so strong that this cat decided to call a tiger So you can imagine that k at t this little cat who looks so small is so strong that she decided to call k a tiger t so k at t and it is uh, showing a story of a cat who is doing that so when children have a story to correlate with the letters they remember the sequence better Thank you.